Hey guys, welcome to today's video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install Synergy on your computer. So if you don't know, Synergy is a popular software application that allows you to share your computer and mouse between multiple computers. It's a great tool if you have multiple computers set up at your desk and want to be able to control them with just one mouse and keyboard. One of the great things about Synergy is that it's an open source project, meaning we the public have access to the source code and are able to freely build, modify, and share the software. So uh, hopefully I can walk you through the steps of building the application and the installer uh, for both Windows and Mac with the Apple M1 or newer series chips. In case you don't want to go through the hassle of compiling and building the application, uh, Synergy does offer different plans for purchasing the software. You can head over to their website for more information on this. Alright guys, so with all that being said, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to Seamless's GitHub page since this is where all the source code is stored. From there we're going to scroll down and click on the getting started link. We'll first need to install git to be able to follow these steps. To do this, type in git bash in the search bar and download the windows version. Since my computer is 64-bit, I'll download the 64-bit version. If yours is 32-bit, then you would download the 32-bit version. Once it's finished downloading, go ahead and install it on your computer. We'll leave these settings alone. The only thing we're going to want to change is check the use the native Windows secure channel library instead of OpenSSL. Since uh, by default OpenSSL is not installed on Windows, we'll go ahead and actually install this later on. The next thing you're going to want to do is open up a PowerShell and make sure you run it as administrator. We'll be running these commands over in the PowerShell. Move over into your users folder. In my case, this is the C drive and it's under the user's name Win10. And go ahead and start copying these steps one by one. What these steps are basically doing is copying over the source code project onto your computer. Once that's done, if you open up File Explorer and navigate into your users folder, you will see that the Synergy core folder gets created. We'll need to navigate into the EXT folder and copy out the OpenSSL folder. Since we'll be building the latest version, go over to the main page and click on the version tag under releases. Now go over to PowerShell and run the command git checkout to update the source files to this version as well. Make sure the git commit IDs match like they do here. You can close your PowerShell window now and head over to the compiling link in the main page. Scroll down to the dependency section and we'll need to install some more things before building the app. Skip step 1 since we already installed git and click on the link to install Visual Studio. Click on the development with C++ option. Notice how Windows SDK package is also included when Visual Studio is installed. So we can skip step 3 after Visual Studio gets installed.
I do want to let you guys know that during the first time I tried this, uh, Visual Studio hung at this uh, preparing for first use step. If you run into this issue, wait at least 15 minutes and then restart your computer. My guess is that the installer is probably buggy, uh, but if you wait those 15 minutes, it should successfully install after you restart your computer. And then just make sure that the Windows SDK also got installed. Now go ahead and install the package for step 4. This one should be relatively simple to install. Now we'll need to install Qt. To do this, search for the specific version and install the Windows EXE installer from the archive URL that shows up. If you try to install it from Qt's main site, it will install Qt6 instead, and that won't work with Synergy. You will need an account to install Qt. It's pretty simple to create one. Just click on the sign up link here and include your email. Uh, Qt will send you a verification code and from there you should be able to install Qt. So I missed it the first time here but make sure you uh, check the Qt 5.12 box. And this should take quite a bit of time to install, so uh, grab a coffee and check back on the computer in 20 minutes or so. Then go over to the Windows search bar and type in environment variables. Click on that. Click on environmental variables and scroll down in the system variables until you find path. Click edit click new and paste that in. Now click on the open SSL a link, uh, scroll down and install the Windows EXE installer. Again, since I'm using a 64-bit computer, I'll install the 64-bit version. And the last thing we need to install is CMake. This one again should be pretty simple. So click on the link here. From there find your specific Windows version and click install. Make sure you click the second option so that the variables get added to the system path. Okay, and before I forget, we need to move back this OpenSSL folder back to its original spot under the EXT folder. And the reason we need to do this is because later versions of the source code removed this folder. And this folder holds some DLL files that are uh, needed f when building the installer. Now that we have all the dependencies installed, open up command prompt and make sure to run it as administrator. We're now ready to build the app. So first thing is to head over to your Synergy core folder uh, from the command prompt. Then you're going to want to set the CMake uh, variable. We're also going to want to set another variable 
This is so that the full version of the app is compiled. If we don't set this synergy enterprise variable to 1, then the compiler will build the unregistered version and it's pretty much unusable since it's always prompts for the serial key. Okay, so now scroll down to the build steps and we'll need to paste these steps in one by one into the command prompt. Alright, congratulations you guys, you've just built Synergy. To launch it, head over to the Synergy core folder. Under bin and debug, you should now see the Synergy executable files. Launch this file, and there you go. I did notice this error that pops up here. It doesn't appear to affect it, but I didn't get a chance to test it. Um, but anyways, next I'll be showing you how to build the installer and this error doesn't show up because the installer installs the app as a service. Alright guys, so to build the installer, we're first going to want to head over to the compiling installer section. So we only need to really install one thing and that's the Wix uh, toolchain. So click on this link here. From there, click on uh, Wix v3 since that's what Synergy uses and go ahead and install the Wix toolset first. Once that's installed, go ahead and install the Wix extension for Visual Studio 2019 since that's the version we installed earlier. So now we need to do two things. First is head over to your Qt folder. And click on msvc2017 underscore 64 folder. Under that folder, click on the plugins folder. Now look for the styles folder and copy the qwindowstyles dll file and you're going to want to paste that into your synergy core slash build slash bin slash debug slash styles folder and the reason we're doing this is because the compiler looks for these files at specific locations uh, to build the installer Okay, so now the second step is to head over to the Windows Kits folder 
and we're going to want to copy the UCRT folder into the X64 folder found in the bin directory. Uh, make sure you place it in this specific location uh, because there is more than one X64 folder and if you place it in the wrong one then the uh, compiler will uh, shoot errors. So the last thing we need to do is move over to the build installer folder um, through the command prompt. So just copy this command here and from there um, just run the ms build command and that should uh, begin generating the installer for us. Alright, so if everything was successful, you should see the installer file um, located under the uh, slash build, slash installer, slash bin, slash debug folder. So with the installer file created, you don't have to go through the whole process of building the app from source. You can just install Synergy from the installer. So let's say you wanted to install it on another Windows PC. You could just copy this installer onto a flash drive and install Synergy that way. Uh, just keep in mind you'll need to install the dependencies first, um, but it should work fine once uh, you install it. So yeah, it just saves you a lot of time and you don't have to go through uh, the whole process of building the application from the source code. Alright, so now we'll be building the application on Mac. Uh, the steps are more or less the same here. Uh, in fact, I think it's a bit easier to build on Mac since there's less things uh, to install. We'll need to head over to the main GitHub page and this time follow the macOS steps in the compiling page. First, start off by installing Homebrew on your Mac. Just follow the link and copy the command into the Mac terminal. Once Homebrew is finished installing, make sure to copy and paste these three commands so that the binaries are set and so that you can use the brew command. So just test out brew and make sure that it works on the command terminal. I think brew also pulls in git so you should have git once it's uh, once brew is finished installing on your computer. The next step is to install Xcode. This one you can install from the app store. Just search for Xcode and it should pop up. Make sure to sign into your iCloud account. Um, and this install will roughly take an hour or an hour and a half. So just let it install and check back in an hour or so. Okay, so now that that's installed, we'll be using Brew to install the remaining packages. We'll also be installing Qt5 from Brew. This is where we'll be doing slightly different steps. 
than the ones outlined here in the page. Since my computer is running with an Apple M1 chip, these steps written on the page won't necessarily work because they are written for a Mac x86 or in other words, Macs with Intel chips. Once those packages are done installing, we're now ready to start building the application. So the first thing we're going to want to do is clone the source code project just like we did for Windows. and then make your build directory inside your Synergy core project and make sure you set the Synergy enterprise variable to 1 so that the full version of the application is built. Make sure to switch to the latest version release. From there, we're now ready to start building the application. So navigate over into your build directory and copy and paste the CMake command to set up the configurations. Then run the make command to start building the application. Alright, so once that's finished, you should see the application built inside the build slash bin slash debug directory. So use finder and navigate over into that location. And here are the binary files that get created. Launch the Synergy one and you will need to enable permissions so go ahead and do that. And there you have it, Synergy built for the Mac with the Apple M1 series chip. If you look at the about page, this is the latest version. And uh, you may also see additional letters at the end of the version information here. And the reason for that is because there's a certain script within the source code that sets up the version information. 
I didn't run it since that's all it does and it really isn't needed. We also need to copy over these binaries over into the actual application bundle that gets created. So make sure to copy all these binaries and navigate over into the bundles directory and right click and choose show package contents. Now go inside the contents folder, create a new folder called macOS and paste the binaries in there. And now you can move this over into your applications folder and this will make it so that the uh, Synergy icon shows up on the launch pad and you can launch Synergy from there. Again, it will prompt you for permissions and just make sure to enable. So I found that closing the app doesn't fully terminate Synergy and it still leaves a process running in the background on Mac. This makes it so that you aren't able to relaunch it because of this hanging process. To work around this problem, you'll need to open up Activity Monitor from the launchpad. Type in Synergy into the search bar and you'll see this hanging process that I was talking about. Go ahead and stop it by clicking the button with the X on it. You should now be able to relaunch Synergy. You will need to do this extra step every time you close out of Synergy. Kind of inconvenient, but if I find a fix to this, I will update the video or description to let you guys know. Alright guys, so next I'll be showing you how to build the installer for Mac. As a prerequisite, you will need Python 3 installed. But I think Apple has made it so that Macs are shipped with Python 3 by default, so we should be okay. First thing you're going to want to do is create a Python virtual environment. This is because we'll be installing some Python packages and just to be safe we want to isolate these packages from our main environment so that we avoid any package version mismatching errors. And you're also going to want to copy over your Synergy core folder inside that um, Synergy installer virtual environment. The virtual environment will just show up as a folder so just make sure to copy over that uh, Synergy core folder into it. And then use the pip3 command to install the dmg build package. And then the final step is to use the dmg build command to build the installer. Since I already built it the first time, I'll just show you guys the command so that you can copy it and paste it. And there you guys go. If uh, no errors show up, then you should see the DMG file that gets created inside your Synergy installer folder. And just like the Windows installer, you can uh, install Synergy using this uh, file rather than going through the whole process. So here I'm just removing the old Synergy application that I installed from compiling and building the app. Um, I'm just showing you guys that the installer version also works as well.
Alright guys, so the last thing I'm going to do here is show you a live demo of me setting up the two computers. So I'll be using my Windows PC as my server and then using my MacBook as a client. I tested both ways, uh, that is using the Mac as the server and vice versa. And both ways work fine. So if this video helped you, and please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks again guys.